Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here again. In this video, I have to show you about a very nice application that you can use, which is zero tier. So what is zero tier? Zero tier is, for example, in case you have two devices that you want to connect them to be like connected to the same switch. Say you have a device at uh, your friend place and you have uh, your own computer. So your friend is at his house and your computer is at your home, and then you have uh, both of you internet connectivity, then what you can do, you can use zero tier, then you can have those two devices, those two computers to be connected like they are connected on a switch. So you will have a layer two connectivity. That means that you are like connected to the same network and you can, for example, play games, you can share documents like you are on the same network. So I do have a course speaking about how you can configure zero tier on Microtech Router OS. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can configure zero tier between a computer and a phone. But if you want to know how to make it on the Microtech Router OS, then I highly advise you to take my course that I'm going to leave for you in the description of this video the link so you can also see how you can configure zero tier on the Microtech Router OS. So now we understand what we need to do. We have a phone which is on 5G. So this is my phone connected to 5G. And I have the computer where I'm recording this video, which is connected to my home internet. So those are two different internet sources. What I need to do, I have to put zero tier on my computer. I have to put zero tier on my phone. Both, they don't have any public IP addresses. All you need to do is to have internet. So I don't have any public IP address. Then I create zero tier network. I connect those two devices to zero tier network. And then I will see if I can reach from one side to another, like we are connected to a switch. So you have to think it's like there is a switch on the internet, then you are connected to it. And then we see if we have layer two connectivity. So if you are ready, let's go directly and start doing the implementation. So let's go directly first to zero tier website. So this is zero tier website. We have to go to it. Look what we have here. The saying zero tier is now available on Microtech. Again, if you want to know how to configure it on Microtech router OS, please take the course that I'm going to leave for you the link on this description. Now, if you don't have zero tier account, please sign up. In my case, I do have an account, so I will just log into that account. And then all you need to do from here, from zero tier, is to create a network. So I just say create a network, and here we go. This is the network that has been created. This is the network ID, which is very important because we need to connect to that network ID. If we go inside of it, here you can just change the name if you want. So for example, I'm going to name it YouTube Zero Tier and description this is a demonstration for zero tier very good now you have access control you have private and public private means that in case any device is connected to this network then you have to approve it you have to authorize it and that's much better to leave it private because if you say public, that means anyone who has this network ID and he connect to it, then he is authorized to be like connected to that switch, which is the virtual switch on the internet. That means he can see you on layer two. So that's why I prefer to use the private. Now, if we go down over here, those are the IPs that your phone and uh, your PC, because I'm going to connect the phone or the PC to zero tier, they will get. So you can choose any of this range. So they said here you will get from the range 172.27.something.something. Dot dot something. That means the phone will have an IP of 172.27.something.something. Dot dot something, and the PC will have a range of 172.27.something.something. Dot dot something. All right, so that's slash 60. You can change it if you want. Maybe let's take this one, 192.168.191. I will, I will go for that one. Yeah. So I will get from both sides from that range. And then that's it. That's all what you need to do, actually. And then if we scroll down over here, you can see that no devices has joined to this network. So up to now, that's all what we need to do. Now, what I have to do now is just to come and copy that one. So I have to copy this one because I'm going to use it when I want to connect my computer to that zero tier network. 
Now, let's start with the computer because I'm on my computer now. We go to zero tier here and we go to download. And from download, you can see what you can download. So you have for Windows, for Mac OS, Android, iOS, Linux, FreeBSD, NAS. So all those are over here. Okay, you can also look here what are the softwares or the operating systems that you can use zero tier for them. So I'm using a Windows here, so I just click on Windows. And then I download it and then let's install it. So this is now doing the installation as you can see. We wait for it until it is fully installed. So you can see it's still on the installation process. It may take a few seconds until this installation is fully done. So now we can see that zero tier is being fully installed. Now what I need to do is to go to it. So you can see it's showing up over here. I click on it. And then we have to, because I'm on another screen, let me just move it to this screen. So we move this one to here, so you can see what we have to do. So you can see this is the zero tier address that it has. Now the network ID that I have copied, which is if we look back to here, which is this one, the network ID, then all I need to do is just to put it there and then I have to say join network. So my computer is connected to the internet. I just made join network. Now let's go to the zero tier over here and let's check if this device has shown up. Not yet, so let's refresh. And let's have a look now. Yes, here we go. You see one device has joined this network. So this is the device, this is what we have seen, the uh, zero tier address. And if you want, we can see it again, this one, A. 65dd so look at it a 65dd is there so here i can put the name i would say pc just to make it very simple and then here we have to authorize it so i just make authorize now it will get an ip let's see what ip address it will get from this range 192.168.191.206 you see that's the ip that it has gotten very good, so this is the PC is finished. Let's now go to the phone. All right, so I have an Android phone now, which is connected to the 5G. And let me show you that. Let me just share the screen of the phone in front of you so you can see. So you see that on top of the screen, it's on 5G. And if you want, we can just go to here, you can see the IP of the uh, is going out from this IP 188207 and so forth. So now what I need to do is to have zero tier on this phone. So we go to the Play Store and we install zero tier. So zero tier one, this one. I have already installed it just to win time. So now let's open it. So let's open it. And all I need to do is to go again to here plus, and I have to put the ID as well. So let's see what is the ID and then to paste it here. Let's see, this is the ID, let's write it. I have to go to the phone and move it like this so we can read it very good. So the ID is C7C81. Seven two AF seven two AF and then one zero six one one zero six one A eight five A eight five. Let's read again C seven C eight and then uh, one seven two AF one zero six one A eight five. Correct. All right, so that's what I need to do now. And uh, here you can say route all traffic through zero tier. Then if you want to route all the traffic through zero tier, I'm not gonna do that now. And then all I need to do is say add network. So this has been added. Now let's go to zero tier on this one, this level. Let's refresh to see if this phone also showed up. Not yet, actually we didn't, we forgot here, if we look back, we have to enable it. 
so now it showed up you can see it's directly showed up over here and now I need to put here phone and then I'll make enable or authorized what IP shall, shall it get so this one has 192.168.191.206 this one 192.168.191.153 very good so now those devices are like connected to the same switch what I can do from my comment prompt from my computer I will have to open now the CMD the comment prompt and I will ping let's put it like this I will ping to 192.168.191.153 which is the phone enter here we go so you can see I have a ping reply and that's because they are now both on the same LAN and now from here if you have two computers for example you can do the same that we have done then in this case those computers that are like on a LAN you can play games together like in the old days when uh, it was possible to play games on uh, the uh, LAN on the network even though you are geographically not in the same location but you can play games you can share documents you can do whatever you want you are really like on layer 2 now connectivity and you can see that zero tier is free of charge but of course if you uh, want to uh, have also some uh, paid one you can uh, go let's check where we can find it maybe we go back to uh, zero tier over here here the pricing so you can have here the basic and uh, you have the professional then that means you have up to 500 uh, here network members here up to 50 so this is for free up to 50 here up to 500 here is unlimited so yeah it's also very very secure and uh, yeah i mean why not to use zero tier we don't have public ip addresses on both phones that are using private IP addresses, but now you can see we have connectivity on layer two. So this is all what I wanted to show you in this video. You can see zero tier is a very nice uh, feature that we can use if we want to make layer two connectivity. And yeah, why not to play again uh, games together and uh, on the layer two. So uh, without the need to go to the internet, we can just play games and it works for, of course, not only games, you can do whatever you want because you are on layer two. Again, if you want to know how to configure this on Microtech Router OS, please look to the description. There is a link that you can buy the course where I speak about zero T, but not only about zero T, I speak about also WireGuard, about uh, all the uh, VPN tunnelings that are possible on Microtech Router OS. So I hope that this lecture was informative for you, and I'll see you in the upcoming video.